All right. So we are back on the couch. I'm stuck in the middle. <laughs> uh, doing a new segment about the heavyweights. So we got the poster up there. Uh, Sphinx before before the mat uh, got massacred by Tyson. And uh, yeah, so this is the a new segment we're doing. So it's called Uncrowned Kings, the heavyweights. So what we did, we took 16 of what we believe to be the best heavyweights of all time, and we mean all time, we go back in this thing, uh, who never won a title or a portion of the title. Uh, so if you guys think that we missed somebody or somebody that uh, somebody else you think should be on there, let us know in the comments. But this is what we have, and we're going to go with this list for now. So yeah. what do you have to add, Reese? Uh, we, a couple of these guys have held the, uh, <clears throat> the WBO heavyweight title at a, a point in their career, but um, at the time that they held it, the WBO was not regarded as a major title, so we put them into this uh, into the, this tournament anyways. And then you got to add 40 to the draw? Just so you guys know, just like Marshall said, um, these are 16 of the top guys that we picked, and there's arguably... A whole lot more guys that we yeah. could have put in this mix. Yeah, there was a ton. We were we were thinking of doing thirty two, but you know I don't think we're going to be on coronavirus wait for too long. So we're doing sixteen for now. All right, back to you. Okay, so the hat here got sixteen names. We're gonna have you start off first one. All right, let me just power this off. Okay. Draw both. Draw at the yeah, same two. time? No, no, individually. Okay. And then show it to the camera. We got George Chavallo. How about that? George Chavallo. The Canadian. How's that? That's the perfect. Guy. Monster. Him and Tommy Burns, the greatest heavyweights from Canada. Versus Ernie Shavers. That fight never happened, did it? No. No? Never happened. Okay. Holy shit. That's actually a crazy ass so keep, Yeah, keep that's that a together. really good fight. Put yep. that on the ground together. Got it. We have Derek Chisora. Ooh, yeah, we got some modern day guys in here too. Yep, of course. Versus. What do we got? There's over 100 years of boxing. Ken Norton. <laughs> All right. Who was it? Chisora and Norton? Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Okay. okay, let me go. My first matchup here. Tommy Morrison. Uh oh. Monster. Yeah. AK Tommy Gunn. <laughs> Taking on Ray Mercer. Rematch. We gotta, we okay. gotta throw okay. one of those names back in. Should we put them both back in or leave Tommy Morrison out? Leave Tommy. Leave Tommy out? Okay. We, uh, we're, yeah, that's a rematch. We already know yeah. the uh, unfortunate outcome for Tommy in that one. Yeah, we're, not, we're gonna try to avoid rematches. If it happens down the line in the bracket, that's fine. But for the first round, we're not going to do rematches. No rematches in the field of 30. Uh, the Sweet 16, sorry, not the field of 32. Okay, so what do we got here? That's hilarious we pulled that. Andrew Ooh. Galata. Ooh! Ooh! Shit! That's going to be good. That's actually an amazing I want to see that on a computer. That's nuts. I like that fight a lot. Yeah, yeah that's a great-ass fight. That's a really good okay, fight. Okay, you're up. Okay, just getting these all lined up. Okay, what do we got? We have Jerry Corey. All right. 70s. Jerry Corey's a monster, too. Sam Langford. We told you we went back on this. Okay. We're back. Realize, you got to realize, Sam Langford was born in, I think, 1885. But he has to be on it. He has to be on it. He's got to be on it. We have David Tua. Uh oh. Who's he getting? Mm -mm. That's David a piece. Tua versus Jerry Cooney. All right. Oh shit! That's interesting. That's actually a good fight. That is a good fight. That's an interesting matchup. What do we got next? Tua Cooney. Dillian White, another modern day warrior. Cleveland Williams. Oh. That's by far the best fight so far. Yeah, that's yeah. a scrap. That's a yeah. monster fight. Yeah. Well, there's someone's dying so, in that fight. Oh, man. I like some of these matchups. That's, oh, my too bad. God. Some, <laughs> that's too bad one of them has to be out. Too bad we couldn't see that actually happen, man. That'd be awesome. 
All right, Ike, the president, Ibeabuchi. He was a monster, man. Oh no! And merciless Ray Mercer. Remember when I, we came with the idea? I yeah. said, imagine that fight. Yes. That just that's a better fight than the that's, last. That's the better fight. That's the best fight so far. What do you think, Marsh? No, I, I still think Dillian White versus Freeman yeah. Williams is the scrap. Man. All right, that's man. The one. Oh, we've got a throwback, um, Archie Moore. Oh man, the old mongoose. The last name out of the hat is is uh, Luis Ortiz. Woo! That's interesting. That's interesting. That's very interesting. That's gonna be a technical fight. Yeah, very much. It's a chess match fight. That's good. That's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing that he can get matched up with a monster, like a, a physically huge man like Dillian White as well, because he's uh, a little bit undersized. Mm -hmm. D like Ortiz is a big hitter, but he's not like giant. Got it. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Um, exactly. Anything else you want to add before we wrap up the draw? Um, I feel like basically every single matchup we picked is actually a really good fight, competitive fight. Is there any? Dark? I don't see any like blowouts there. No blowouts. Yeah. What do you think? I think this idea, this concept is awesome, you guys. I, I think you guys are using your your imaginations. Like, you know, instead of just being bored and being stir-crazy, you guys are doing something. Right. Coming up with some really good shit this year. Now, I think we should pick someone who we think is going to win. That's what I was saying. Who's the dark horse that you think could just come out and just tear okay. this thing The up? dark horse or, like, the guy you think is going to win? Okay, yeah. The guy you think is going to win. The matchups also make it different. Whoever, like, you know, this is just basically on the first first matchup we're picking. Because going into this, we don't know. Before, like, before I took into consideration, like, obviously who they're fighting and, like, the, who they match up with stylistically. Um, the two, to me, I thought the two best fighters going into it were Cleveland Williams and Ray Mercer. So, that's who I thought, like, if I had to pick who the champion, championship would be, um... It would be those two fighting for it before we went into this. But obviously, styles make fights. Some of those guys are bad style matchups for you right. know, certain fighters. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, Andrew Galata is one of the most talented guys in the pool. He should have been heavyweight champion uh, at some point in his career. He just had mental collapses. So it depends what Andrew decides to show up for these matchups. It's going to decide where, how far he goes. Exactly. Uh, that's a very interesting person to have in this tournament. David Tua is going to be a nightmare for a lot of people, I think. Uh, but don't count out the old timers like uh, Archie Moore. He is a monster. Had over 100 fights. Don't sleep on these guys. Pretty sure he had over 200, didn't he? I, I predict merciless Ray Mercer. That's my Merciful. prediction. Okay, that's who I got winning the whole thing. If I have to pick one guy before the draw, I think I would say Dillian White would probably be my favorite to win this thing. Yeah, that's a good pick. Mm -hmm. He's he, he's one of the better guys. He's one of the more like all around type fighters in this thing. Yeah, he could do everything. He's probably one of the. Bigger dudes. Pound for pound, strongest fighters. Yeah. Yeah, probably of all time. I think he's yeah. the tallest guy in the, in the list right now. At 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's what we got right now. We hope you guys enjoy it. Remember, like, subscribe, share the video. And we're going to be set, uh, posting, um, what are we doing, one or two fights a video? We're going to do two fights two fights a video Okay. Um, for probably, what, the first two rounds? And then for yeah. the semifinals, or for the, what would it be, quarterfinals, we'll just do... One fight. Sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So how it's going to work, uh, Reese and I are going to break down who we think is going to win. He's going to have his say. I'm going to have my say. And, um, yeah. Okay, so we go ahead. And then the say. final word goes to Pops. If we can't decide. And even if we can decide, he's still going to break down how he thinks it's going to go anyway. Uh, even if we do agree on it. All right, guys. So he, he's, the, he's like the, the uh, uh, guru, the boxing guru. So he's going to be the last say. Anything you want to add before we go? I can't wait for this. All right, guys. We hope you enjoy it. We're out. Hold up.